Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to be going over the um, Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon and comparing the results of the prints and stuff to my Creality K1 Max. Um, both printers are roughly the same price point. Uh, the K1 Max set me back about $1,500. Um, this sets you back about $1,800 without the AMS system. But I got the combo with the AMS because I bought this particularly just to um, mess around with uh, multicolored filaments and uh, multi-type filament prints, so like soluble supports or um, mixing TPU and PETG and stuff together. So I will um, not bother too much about the setup and that of the printer because there's heaps of uh, tutorials and stuff on this printer out there. Uh, my main goal is just, just to get it set up and... Um, do some test prints and see how it compares to the K1 Max. Uh, the K1 Max I've had for about five or six weeks now, and that thing's been an absolute beast. There's been a couple of hiccups with it. A failed print here and there. Uh, when I ran out of filament, it didn't resume, but that may have been because I was using a rooted firmware at the time. And it did have an error during printing, and uh, I went to resume it, but when it did resume, it... it put a layer shift in the resume point so it needs work in the firmware but other than that uh, hardware wise it's been great but anyway we'll get into um, opening this up okay and that's it it's done its thing it's very much like um, the same steps same setup and everything as the K1 Max. It's to be expected when the K1 Max is basically a clone of this. The main reason I bought the K1 Max um, and not this one straight out is because of the bed size difference. So there's your difference in bed sizes. The K1 Max is just a bigger bed. And um, that's, that's basically what you're after. So... 256 by 256 to 300 by 300 so um, I wanted a fast printer and the bed size and that's why I got the K1 Max hopefully one day Creality brings out a automatic material system like the AMS that this has and then you can do multiple colours on that but for now that's what I've got this one for I feel that these two printers the K1 Max and the X1 Carbon are roughly the competing devices uh, they kind of have the same sort of specs the same stuff in them so aside from the um, AMS and all of that it has the LiDAR auto leveling all of that so they're kind of the competing products and they're roughly the same price point one being 1500 and the other one being 1800 and that's in Australian dollar dues so um, next I'm going to get on to uh, Doing some prints and seeing what the quality is compared to the K1 Max. It's okay, now I've done some prints and um, I can go through the differences or the quality or whatnot. Setting the um, Bamboo X1 Carbon up uh, was rather annoying. Um, you're, you're basically forced to uh, bind the machine to an account and um, that wasn't working. Uh, it just would not bind, and um, it took me a, yeah, it took me a little while to work out um, how to get it to bind, which basically took uh, me to get two mobile phones. I turned one into a hotspot. I connected the printer to the hotspot, and then I connected uh, my phone to the hotspot. So I had a phone and the printer connected to another phone's mobile hotspot and then it would finally go through the binding process, um, which was, in my opinion, really stupid. Uh, you pretty much couldn't do much with the printer uh, until it was binded to an account or bound to an account. Um, you can't update unless it's bound to an account. You can't update with the SD card or anything like that. So uh, I'm... If it was an issue with the firmware, I had no way of updating it until it was bound, but it wasn't binding. So the whole ecosystem that they have there, it's just so they can push their subscriptions or coins or whatever they're doing, is, is just stupid. 
and basically the elephant in the room with things that uh, force you to bind the devices to accounts um, or require connections online, um, logins, passwords, whatever. Uh, a, a cloud service is that if that cloud ever goes away, it can potentially stop your machine working. Another problem with this type of setup is, is um, if I'm not saying Bamboo does this or is going to do this or anything, but the the downside of having these sort of cloud um, types of setups with machines and serial numbers bound to accounts is, is that they could uh, potentially deactivate the device over uh, online. Um, another company that a good example of a company that does this type of thing is Cricket with their cutting machines. They require accounts and subscriptions and all of that type of stuff to actually operate the machine. And at any given time, uh, Cricket can change something on the server and it'll deactivate the actual cutting machine, making it useless. So when you have these types of um, cloud subscriptions or cloud types of setups, you are potentially sort of held ransom by the company. They need to stay in business and not shut down for you to get the, the most out of the machine. Um, and they can potentially change their terms of service in the future and deactivate your account for any reasons, uh, which could deactivate your machines. And you could also lose access to your account. Um, you might lose your password or get hacked or something like that. And then some other bad actor or whatnot may be able to screw around with it and delete your machine. Or uh, there's just so many red flags when it comes to these types of cloud subscription type models. When you've bought a machine like a 3D printer and it's locked to a web service. Um, so that's a huge red flag with Bamboo. Uh, Creality does have uh, a similar sort of setup with the K1 Max, but you do not need to bind the machine to an account to make it work. It's not reliant on um, the server. I, I've never bound my K1 Max to the server or an account or anything like that. I've never taken it that far. Um, I just plugged it in and went to the web browser, the IP for it, and sent it a G code file and started printing. Um, so the Creality K1 Max setup was much better than Bamboo. The other problem there is, is that um, uh, when you have like uh, closed source codes, so Bamboo is completely closed when it comes to source code. So if the company ever does go missing, that's it, you're done. Um, Creality's just um, open source the K1 Max and given root access at least and stuff like that. So you actually have the ability to tinker or go further with it in the future. So when you're looking at these two types of printers um, going head to head, you need to keep that in mind. One has a cloud setup and could potentially be an issue in the future, and the other one doesn't have that. But we'll get into the print qualities anyway. These are just two arms, and on the K1 it took an hour and 15 minutes, and on the Bamboo it took an hour and 14 minutes to print these. So print speeds, um, all of the slicer settings were the same. And the quality of them is very similar. Uh, the Creality has a bit of ringing on this outer corner here. So it doesn't look as nice as Bamboo. So on this um, print, when you look at it, uh, the, it is a nicer print on the Bamboo. So for something like that, uh, the Bamboo is definitely... Um, definitely has the nicer finish, just particularly on that corner there. So, um, but both printers did it in remarkable time, and um, yeah, definitely happy with those. Now, with these trays, um, the tray on the K1 Max took two hours and 47, and on the Bamboo, it took two hours and 42. So again, the print times are pretty much the same. Um, but on this one, the Creality done a better job. Uh, it looks nicer, particularly on this inner corner here. Um, on this print, the, the Creality came out with a nicer finish. But overall, 
um, they are pretty much the same. So both printers performed well on those two parts um, and within the very similar time frames of printing. Now with these, um, these are printed in place articulate models. These were printed with the body, then the head afterwards. And the head took about an hour and the body took about three and a half hours. Um, again, the bamboo did it in about 15 minutes quicker, maybe 12 minutes quicker than the Creality. So, but they were five hour prints all up. Um, so really 15 minutes wasn't much in the grand scale of a five, total five hour print. Um, both models came out really nice. They articulate well. You know, you can't... You can't fault either machine. Um, the bamboo slicer did want me to um, simplify the model, but I didn't do that. So there's no simplifying of the original model. And when you look at them, they're pretty much identical. Like there might be some sort of artifact that may be different, but on something like this, you're not really going to notice it. So... Overall, both machines did really well on these, so I can't fault either machine. And some other things I just did on the bamboo, which I've done on the Creality, so I know um, I know the results that I'm looking for because I've printed a lot of these on the Creality machine, which is TPU. That came out fine. You can't print TPU from the AMS. Well, you're not supposed to anyway, but um, so this was just done with a, a dry box fed into the back. And it came out fine, just as good as the Creality. I can't fault that. Um, little screws, little hand screws that I've made with really fine threads. Again, threads all came out really nice. Can't fault it. And then something with a larger thread, um, again, came out just as good as the Creality. So uh, the Bamboo's print quality is pretty much the same as the Creality. Um, like I said, with the arm and the inner of the tray, there is certain little artifacts that one has that the other doesn't. So really on the overall scale of it, both machines perform pretty much the same as each other. When it comes to print quality, I can't really see any reason uh, to buy one machine over the other. The same with speed. Just when you're looking at the prints alone, um, both machines are pretty much on par with each other. So either machine... Um, is worth buying, you know, whichever way you want to go. Now, I did do a multicolor print with the AMS and the Bamboo. Obviously, Creality doesn't have this functionality, and that was uh, just putting the logo into the arm, uh, so that that's just black PLA inside of white PLA. Um, you can see discoloration on the white where it started to lay the black. Um, filament that could be maybe I needed a, a larger prime tower but I just left it all as default in the slicer so that was the prime tower and yeah you could probably see that maybe it did need um, some more priming but overall um, this came out fairly good um, in the AMS so definitely you know that's one advantage the bamboo has over the Creality is that that um, it can do multiple filaments. And then this is all the crap that came out the back. So of course if you're going to get into one of these um, bamboo multi-filament stuff, just for that print, uh, that's all the crap that came out the back. So you have to have a bucket at the back of the machine to catch all of that or it's just going to go everywhere. And then if this arm here took 6 hours and 56 minutes to print, so um, going from an hour and 12, what was, what was it, an hour and 14 minutes to 6 hours and 56 minutes because of the layer changes, I think there was 200 or 160, there was a number of layer changes anyway. So that slows your print down by a considerable amount. Um, so if you're looking at multi-colour fi uh, filaments and that, just remember that it's going to increase the print time fairly, um, fairly drastically depending on how many layers of different colour you're going to have or how many layer changes or filament changes you're going to have. 
um, for the Creality, the Creality slice is fairly basic, so um, I wasn't too impressed with that. Uh, the Bamboo slice is definitely much more um, advanced than the Creality one, so Bamboo definitely wins with having a better uh, slicer there by far. Um, but with the Creality one, you just use Orca slicer, and that that pretty much covers everything you need for um, the K one. Uh, that's what I started using after a while, um, and that was just the go-to slicer for it. But any of these um, prints that I did with the K1 Max, yeah, they were all sliced in the Creality slicer. I didn't want to give a you know a better advantage to Creality because I was using Orca slicer and in the stock standard here. Basically, both machines were stock as they come. As I said before, both machines are great. They're going to print and do the job for you. I can't see any reason that one machine would um, give you more benefit than the other machine. They both have the same sort of um, technology in them, if you want to call it that. Um, the bamboo, of course, you're going to get multiple coloured filaments. So you can have the AMS and all of that. So that's where Creality lacks. Um, if you want to get like the combo thing, it was $2,260 or something um, for the combo machine with the AMS. And the Creality K1 Max was just uh, $14.50 or something like that. It all comes down to what you want out of the machine. Uh, I think if you're going to go the bamboo, you might as well just get the AMS uh, with it. Spend the extra couple of hundred dollars and just get the AMS with it. Um, but keep in mind, you're going to be have that whole cloud account sort of thing with it. If you want a printer that you can tinker with or make modifications to, tweak, do all of that type of stuff, then the bamboo's not the one for you. Um, the Creality is going to be what you're after. If you want something that's just going to print and be hassle-free, then either machine's going to work for you. I see a lot of arguments online about what's better, and um, I can't tell you what's better. I can only tell you what I'm seeing here. Um, I've had my Creality for a while now, and that's been pretty good. I can't see any reason that the bamboo would stop working in a hurry. Um, I think both machines are basically as good as each other. And if you're not interested in uh, multiple coloured filaments and all of that, then if you want to save a bit of money, then you can get the uh, K1 Max. Uh, that'll give you the bigger bed. So there's pros and cons for both of them. You can get a slightly bigger bed with the Creality, or you can get the option for multiple coloured filaments and stuff like that. And when it comes to noise, um, both printers are as basically as noisy as each other. Um, so if you're thinking about um, putting it next to your computer while you're sitting there playing games or whatnot or working, um, they're both relatively loud. They're not quiet machines. It's mainly just the fan noise that you'll hear. And the bamboo machine is obviously it's more compact because the bed's smaller. So if you're constrained by space, Having a smaller machine to fit in that spot that you're looking to get it in may be appealing to you. Um, it is annoying though that you have to uh, load or unload filaments or this bucket, this trash from the back of the machine. Uh, if you have it on a shelf like I do, it's just annoying to try and get in behind the printer. Um, just something I guess you're going to have to deal with. Both printers do the same sort of thing. They, they want you to put a spool on the back. Um, and it's just bad design in my opinion. I just use dry boxes and put them on shelves. 